Hey guys, happy Saturday. Uh, listen, I've gotten a couple comments on my thoughts on writing video from a couple weeks back, and people have been, you know, asking me for some tips on screenwriting. Now, listen, I'm not like a huge screenwriter. I've written like a couple of short screenplays, not really a big deal, and they were college projects, so like nothing to get excited about. I'm writing right now because I have these, I have these ideas in my head, and no one else is writing them or going to make them. So it's kind of like that Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Goodwill Hunting thing where, you know, if there are no roles for you, just write your own is what I'm doing right now. But I do have some tips that uh, professional screenwriters, you know, they'd, they'd probably tell you the same thing that I'm about to tell you. The number one tip that I have for screenwriting specifically is read scripts. Read scripts. You can find them online. You can find them published in bookstores and stuff like that. Read them. Read them, read them, read them, read them, read them. Read a lot of them. And another thing that helps me, because I, I don't, it's hard for me to concentrate and, you know, read. Um, something that helps me is that I read them while watching the movie version, you know. I'll read them and watch the movie. So I have a, I have a copy of Pulp Fiction. And one of my favorite things to do is follow along with the movie. That way you can figure out like how the action is interpreted on screen and you know all those different things. It, just, it really helps. Another thing that would help is to uh, specifically figure out you know what kind of like what genre you're looking for, what type you're looking for, and then focus on scripts like that. Um, something that I really like to do is flesh out the characters. Uh, I know that actors like to, or need to, figure out everything they need to know about the character that they're portraying. Like, everything. Like, write out a huge history about who they're playing. And I like to do something very similar when I'm writing characters. That's why it takes me forever. It's because I like to flesh out every single detail. Um, one of the projects I'm working on right now is um, sort of like a, uh, a, a mystery thriller. Uh, I'm planning it for it to be like a web series, and it's taken me forever because I'm fleshing out everything. I have like the entire life history of the main character written out, and several of the minor characters as well, like their whole life history. I'm not even going to use all that information, but it helps me to figure out, to make it more natural, you know, to try and figure out what this character would do natively. Like, I want to figure out who they are before I write them. I know that sounds weird, because I'm writing them, and I'm sort of making up who they are. But for some reason, if I can just, like, it's, a, it's almost like a real person to me. If I can just figure out who they are, then it just makes more sense. And I'm sure a lot of other screenwriters do that. I don't think I'm a pioneer in that in any sense. Um, so those are just a couple of tips. Um, don't treat them like they're the Bible, but, you know... They're good. They'll help. Uh, so some other thing you can pick up books on screenwriting. Uh, I know uh, McKee wrote a book called Story, and that's pretty much the industry standard on how to make a good screenplay. Um, there's a couple other ones that I'll probably uh, list in the description of this video. Um, but anyway, I hope that helps, and I hope you guys are having a really good Saturday. And I hope that I'm not too embarrassed by the hot dog video that I posted. Because that really actually was the first hot dog I ever eaten in my life. And I hope that's not too weird for you guys. Um, I was kind of a picky eater when I was a kid. And even now still a little bit, but I'm trying to get over it, obviously. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a really good Saturday. And I don't know. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, bye.